you to popular demand, I will be showing you guys how to make steamed meat buns but veganized, also known as the Filipino shopao. So we're going to start off by making the bun dough. So we're going to start off with a 3 fourth cups of um, warm water. So I already have that here. And we're going to mix one teaspoon of instant yeast. And instant yeast usually comes in a packet like this. And we also are going to mix one tablespoon of granulated sugar. And you're going to whisk all of these together until the yeast dissolves. So once the yeast is dissolved, you're just going to set this to the side for 15 minutes and wait till the yeast activates. That's what's going to help the bun have its fluffy um, texture and it's going to help it rise when steaming in the steamer. While you're waiting for the 15 minutes to let your yeast activate, we're going to start uh, making the filling for the bun. So we have j green jackfruit from Trader Joe's. You're just going to put it in a colander and let it um, seep all the juices out. Then you're going to take these and then you're going to just pull them apart. Okay, this is the end result once you have pulled them all apart. It looks like pulled pork, so this is gonna be the meat for the bun. So this is the water, yeast, and sugar mixture. So once you let that set aside for 15 minutes, you're gonna take one tablespoon of oil, preferably um, uh, coconut oil, this one. And you just put it in. get every drop and you're just gonna whisk it together okay. this is your liquid for the flour mixture so now we're gonna make mix our dry ingredients together Two cups of all-purpose flour. Then you're going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch with your flour. teaspoon of salt and then one eighth teaspoon of baking soda and then you can either whisk it by hand together or you can use a stand mixer like I'm using and you just mix your ingredients together once you have mixed all of those together, you're going to take um, the water, sugar, yeast, and oil mixture, and you're just going to pour it into your dry mixture. Gonna have to wait for a while to until all of these so both the mixtures are together completely so you might have to stop in the middle of it and then just clean it out
Okay, so once it's done mixing, your dough is supposed to look like this, not too sticky and not too floury. But if it is too sticky, you can add um, one tablespoon more of flour. Or if it's the opposite, if it's too floury, you can add one teaspoon of water. So next, you have to knead the dough for um, until it becomes smooth. gonna let it sit on the side for an hour or until it doubles the size so make sure you put it in a warm area what I like to do is I just put it in the oven while it's off and I just keep it in there for an hour or so until I see the dough has rise twice its size so while you're waiting for your dough to rise um, and double in size you want to start making your filling so you're gonna mince two cloves of garlic and half an onion Okay, so we're gonna start with our filling. So we're gonna have a pan with oil already and heat it up. So we're gonna put in our two cloves of garlic. Just put that in there. jam that you would prefer but today we're using um, Crofter's Berry Harvest organic jam. This gives it some good flavor and some good texture into the filling. Smelling delicious. You can add pepper. Okay, so an hour has passed and as you can see, our dough has risen twice its size. Isn't it amazing? And I've already cleaned my surface and I repowdered it because we're gonna knead the dough some more. So 
So you're gonna wanna knead the dough until all the air that's accumulated in it has been knocked out of it. So the dough is gonna have like a softer texture. And we are gonna do the best part. So we're gonna take a not a tablespoon or so size the ball. And you want to keep your dough covered while you're like in the middle of this process so it doesn't dry out. So you're gonna get basically fold them however you like if you want to fold them into an actual how they do the buns go ahead and do it I tried doing it it takes a long time and it takes practice but this is my third time making it so I'm not really that good at it so I just kind of stuck with folding it this way because either way it tastes good it looks good it's all going in one place but yeah you just repeat that process until you filled up your containers you see steam coming out you're gonna put the heat on to medium for 10 minutes and then after those 10 minutes are up you're gonna turn off the stove and just leave the container for 10 another 10 minutes do not open anything it's just gonna help the dough set and it's so it doesn't collapse and then once those 20 minutes in total are done you are ready to eat it if it's cool enough Thank you. 